Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video of Swift tutorials, you basically understood the main difference between a struct and the class. So in this video, let's continue exploring the class from the perspective of initializer. So right now, I have created another class called as illustrated book. Right now, I have not declared any instance variables inside illustrated book, but I can create one. So let me create a, another variable called as illustrator name and let it be of type string as you write this you will immediately get a compilation error saying that illustrator book has no initializers one way of fixing this problem is you can immediately initialize it here or you can just write initializers just the way you had written in the book class well that is pretty simple you can just write in it and you can see that code completion automatically suggests override keyword so you are basically overriding non-parameterized initializer in the subclass so let me initialize the illustrator name but it is still giving me a compilation error saying that super init isn't called well the way initializers work in classes is first you will have to do the initialization of the instance variables that are concerned with the current class but after that you will have to write super dot initializer this will make sure that after the initialization of instance variables corresponding to the current class you will be invoking super classes initializer so in this case it would be calling this particular initializer and now what i can do is let me create a another variable sample book which is of type book and here i can write illustrated book since illustrated book is a subclass this will work perfectly fine if you want to see the content this is what it would look like all the instance variables declared in the super class will get the default values and whatever the value that you had provided for the illustrator name in the subclass for the default initializer it will get that value in this case it is unknown name sometimes you may actually even want to provide the parameterized initializers so i can write init and then i want to even provide illustrator name so in this case so i will just repeat this statement here but instead of using unknown name i will pass this particular last argument that i am passing and after that i will have to once again invoke super dot init well right now it will give you a compilation error saying that you will have to pass labels so let me fix that part but this still doesn't solve the problem if you want to write override the parameter list should be same here we have another extra parameter so this is not actually a proper overriding so we can remove that and now you can observe that the earlier compilation error that we had has just vanished so in this way in the subclass also you can write the parameterized initializer but just make sure that you don't use the override keyword in case you are not matching the parameter list for the super classes initializer. And I can just write a illustrator book with different parameter values here. And now if I print sample book dot display book info, it will still display as per the function definition we had given in the super class. And since illustrated book is a subclass of book, it inherits this particular function. If you want to modify, you can do that. Once again, that is pretty simple. You have to use override keyword function display and you can return super dot display info and then use a string interpolation to print the illustrator name. And now you will observe that you are invoking the overridden method that you just defined in the illustrated book. And if you don't want a particular function to be available for overriding you can use the keyword final so now you will observe that you are getting a compilation error because now you have made sure that this particular function is not available for overriding in the same way if you don't want the class to be extended you can even declare the class as final then the illustrated book cannot extend the final class because that is not open for subclassing and you will see a compilation error 
as said that inheritance from the final class book is basically a error and you can't go ahead with that so this is the main thing that i wanted to discuss about the class and how inheritance works in the class and how you use the initializers and with this i basically end the discussion about classes and and inheritance in swift there is of course more than this but i think at the beginner level this is more than sufficient in the upcoming videos i will be starting new topic in swift so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye